Kawayan City National High School, a two-decade-old public school in Central Isabela with a student population of 6,000 and a workforce of 267 teaching and non-teaching staff, is a shining citadel of learning in Cagayan Valley region with its sustained school-based management effective practices that help the school succeed in all its efforts and initiatives geared towards the achievement of desired goals in the following dimensions. Leadership and Governance Curriculum and Instruction Accountability and Continuous Improvement and Management of Resources the school as an advocate and practitioner of SBM left an indelible mark in the parlance of school governance by stepping up its efforts in embracing principles and indicators of a truly decentralized education management to contribute to the DEPED's operating efficiency and education quality. In the implementation of SBM, school committed itself to create an environment where all stakeholders involved were genuinely committed to make change happen in every cycle of the school improvement plan, thereby paving the way to the realization of the magic formula of SBM, which are shared vision and mission, shared leadership, shared responsibility, and shared accountability. Among the school's effective practices are the following. Governance. Under governance, we have Project Conscience or Conscience and Spirituality Continuum in Education Network and Community Empowerment. The goal of Project Conscience is to effectively and efficiently manage human capital, physical and financial resources of the school. The Support Programs of Project Conscience. Project Watch or We Advocate Time Consciousness and Honesty. The school launched various activities and projects in support of the trusts of this project, such as Honesty Store, Charity Bazaar, Watch Park and Center, Recognition of Honest Students and Community Folks, Recognition of Early Birds and Perfect Attendance of both students and employees, and Systematic Attendance Monitoring System of Employees. Project SUA Spiritual Upliftment Activity, a faculty spiritual development program of teachers and office staff designed to strengthen their faith and renew their relationships with their fellow as they apply Bible principles in their day-to-day -day life. Every last Friday of the month, faculty and staff gather in their respective religious groups and share faith-strengthening experiences, their daily struggles, and favorite Bible verses. Project Salamine, a transparency component program of Project Conscience with two outstanding and effective features to rally forth in fiscal governance, involvement of stakeholders in planning and decision making in the school's financial management system and transparency mechanisms. The following are effective practices under this project. Establishment of a school website. All school activities, issuances, accomplishments, and various financial reports are visible at kawaiancityhide.edu.ph. Conduct of Annual State of the School Address or SOSA Distribution of copies of school report card to all stakeholders Maintenance of suggestion boxes and customer satisfaction survey in key offices Establishment of Citizens' Charter in key offices Establishment of an updated transparency board where financial reports such as MOOE, Canteen, PTA, financial assistance, grants and donations are being posted. Giving fiscal autonomy to various student organizations such as Supreme Student Government and School Publication to manage, disperse, account and report their own funds following government accounting and auditing procedures. All organizations maintain their own account and local banks. Under governance, we have 
Project Kagapai. Under this are the various partnership initiatives of the school to generate financial and material resources. The school being the Brigada Escuela Hall of Fame National Award in 2012 National Champion, nationwide search for best school for Park by Lunti Ang Pilipinas Movement, and recently as one of the Philippines' most sustained school in BE Plus implementation in 2018, are concrete evidences of that Project Kaagapay plays a significant role in making the school a real nature and child-friendly institution. Project Padurufun, the gadang term for cooperation. It is an initiative geared towards the establishment of a sustainable school urban organic food garden, otherwise known as rub candic or rubber can and plastic, utilizing local wisdom where community stakeholders help in project sustainability. A school community seed bank was also put up. The garden serves as the laboratory of students and they produce supplement vegetable needs of the school feeding program. Access. Under Access, we have Project Shut P or Stop Hunger Today program. This program is aimed at addressing the needs of severely wasted students of the school. It is a 90-day feeding program being managed by the School Health and Nutrition Unit in partnership with Divine JMJ Foundation that donated 112000 Freshly harvested vegetables from adjacent food gardens also complement the needs of the feeding program. Project Lak Cho or Learning Action Cell, City High Action on Learning K-12, a research-based approved re-entry plan of the school head in the school head's development program in 2015. This program primarily addressed high incidence of dropout among Sardo or students at risk of dropping out. After a series of lack sessions, all teachers were able to produce contextualized modules in all levels and subjects in junior and senior high school. This materials went quality assurance at the LRMBS of SDO Kawayan City before they were utilized. Significantly, dropout rate of the school was reduced in the ensuing years. Project Health Alert or Healthy Environment and Long-Term Health through local engagement, recreation, and training. This program is cited by the Sumeya Education for Sustainable Development in 2017 as one of the finalists in its yearly search for outstanding program implementer. Basura Mo, School Fee Mo. This program helps students and their parents generate income from recyclable waste they collect from their homes, community, and the school. The amount generated is more than enough to pay their minimal school fees such that they ultimately develop the habit of picking up letters and wear. This helped the school and the community spit and spend. Quality. For quality we have Project Tata or Table of Approximate Time Allotment. This program is in response to the engaged time on task policy of the department. With the many intervening events and celebrations of the school, the community and the department, plus the numerous class suspensions due to severe weather conditions, students suffer the most in standardized tests such as the National Achievement Test by incurring a lot of least mastered competencies, hence quality is being sacrificed. To arrest this program, Project Tata is institutionalized since 2011. This is a system aligning school contact days to the desired learning competencies to be delivered in a particular day, month, and quarter. Project Asir or After Class Intense Review. This program addresses the least mastered competencies of students in all subjects. Upon release of the individual NAT scores, subject teachers are tasked to determine the least mastered competencies and develop an intervention plan via enhanced classroom instruction using the vacant time of students. This eventually increased the NAT MPS of the school in 2011 to 2013. Project ACAP or 
Ako'y kasama mong aangat sa pagbasa, an intervention program of the Filipino Department to raise the comprehension levels of students in Filipino since even it's our very first language, they are faring very low in comprehension. Maths WC. This is an intervention program of the Mathematics Department to raise achievement levels of students using window cards as a strategy. This program helped a lot of students master basic numeracy skills in whole numbers, fractions, and integers. Indeed, SBM spirit is hovering in the atmosphere of the entire school community of Kauaian City National High School. The goodness and blessings it brought forth and continue to bring to the learners and stakeholders are pouring like a rain in a scorched dry land. This gives us hope in the power of education to transform our society.